so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video we are going to talk about how we can model that kind of hut and blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and in this video we are going to talk about some modeling tricks so make sure you watch the tutorial till end so now let's start a tutorial and here you can see that this is our render view and if i'm just going to show my 3d model so here you can see this is our 3d model here you can see okay here you can see this is our 3d model so now let's start a tutorial how we can make it, uh, how we can make that kind of hut in blender so let's start it so i will just delete these stuff here and i'm just going to delete it and after that i will just uh, enable my shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing okay you can see on the left hand side basically okay what which key i'm pressing okay so first of all i will just add one reference image i'm just going to hover my mouse here and here i'm just going to split this window something like that i will just drag it okay then i'm just gonna click this editor type option and here i will just choose the image editor and here i will just open that image so i'm just gonna open that reference image here you can see so here i have saved that reference image and if you guys want to do uh, practice on this reference image so you can uh, download this image from the description that will be free for my all subscriber okay so now let's start it so after adding the image we'll just see the uh, reference image once then we'll start the modeling so here you can see we have a that kind of uh, shape here and if i'm just gonna count these faces so it is one two three four five six so there is a six face of the top of this uh, side and here you can see this is the top view this is the front view and this is the perspective view so first of all we'll just create that shape basically so i will just add one cylinder here pressing the shift a and then i'm just gonna set these vertices as a six side so here you can see which is we have already counted okay then i'm just gonna uh, increase little radius of this uh, shape i think that much radius is look fine to me okay after that i'm just gonna my top view and here i'm just gonna rotate this shape something like that i think that's look fine to me and after that i will just go to my front view and here i will just add one cube pressing the shift a and i'm just gonna scale this cube something like that okay and we'll just uh, scale this cube something like that as well okay and i'm just gonna move this cube here to here okay and now if i'm just gonna edit mode of this cube so we'll just uh, drag these vertices a little bit down something like that okay i think that's look fine to me uh, okay so we can do little scale this shape yeah i think that's look fine to me so after doing the scale make sure you apply the scale pressing the control a okay and uh, then i'm just gonna select the side vertices of this cube something like that and then we'll just go to my front view and here i'm just going to press the control b for the bevel and from this scroll wheel i'm just going to increase the uh, number of vertices in these corners basically okay so i think that's look fine to me yeah and after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna duplicate this uh, cube all around this cylinder so for that uh, first of all we have to just uh, set this origin point as a 3d cursor so for that we have to just do right click and and here i'm just going to set origin as a 3d cursor okay so after that here you can see everything going to happen from the 3d cursor okay so that's look fine to me and then we'll just uh, press the shift d then i'm just gonna press the r then i will just press the z for the z uh, location basically z axis and i'm just gonna keep it here okay and then we'll just do shift r for the duplicate the same command basically okay so here you can see that cube is going to uh, all around this cylinder and which is look fine and then i'm just gonna select the all cube which is we have duplicated okay and then i'm just gonna join the all the mesh pressing the control j so it will join the all mesh in a one a single mesh here you can see if i'm just gonna move the so here you can see we have a single mesh okay then after that we have to just create that kind of hole so for creating the that kind of hole what we have to do we have to just add the uh, one boolean modifier into our cylinder i'm just gonna add the one boolean modifier and then i will just select the boolean object as a these cubes and then i will just do apply the modifier so here you can see when i'm just gonna delete this shape so we have a that kind of that kind of uh, hole here so what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna delete these uh, shapes from here yeah and now here you can see we have a that kind of effect here which is look nice to me okay and i'm just gonna delete the bottom face as well and we don't need the top faces as well so i'm just gonna delete the top face as well so that's look something like that so first of all i'm just gonna move this here to here and which is look fine to me then after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add one uh, cone here 
okay and why i'm going to add the cone because we'll just create that kind of effect here okay and we'll just decrease the side of these vertices as a six which is we have already counted okay and i'm just gonna keep it rotated something like that and i'm just gonna scale it something like that as well okay so that's look fine to me and we'll just uh, scale this shape something like that as well yeah and we'll just keep it here to here i'm just gonna scale it little bit more and we'll just scale it something like that and i'm just gonna keep it here to here i think that's look fine to me we can scale it little bit more yeah i think that's fine to me and we'll just delete the bottom uh, face of this cone i'm just gonna delete it and then i'm just gonna drag it little bit down yeah and we'll just use the one modifier it's called basically solidify so we'll it's just create a little thickness here you can see but right now here you can see that thickness is not going to work properly so make sure you apply the scale so you will get a perfect thickness here okay i think that's look fine and now i'm just gonna duplicate this pressing to shift d and i'm just gonna scale it and keep it here yeah and we'll just repeat this command again and again so you can see guys we are done with this shape as well okay so now we'll just create that kind of shape here which is you can see here okay so for creating the that shape what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add the one cylinder again and i'm just gonna rotate it this cylinder something like that and then i'm just gonna scale it something like that and i'm just going to keep it here to here and we'll just scale it little bit more yeah and we'll just scale something like that as well i think that's look fine to me yeah okay and after that uh, what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna edit mode of this cylinder okay then i'm just gonna press the e for the extrude and s for the scale and i'm just gonna scale it then i'm just gonna extrude it something like that and on the top of this uh, cylinder i will just add one uv sphere i'm just gonna scale it and going to keep it and here to here then i'm just gonna do shade smooth as well so that will look something like that i think that's look fine to me okay then we'll just create uh, that bottom shape so for creating the bottom shape we'll just also use the cylinder and i'm just gonna rotate this cylinder also in a same way yeah and now we will just uh, scale this shape something like that so we'll just scale this shape little bit something like that as well okay and we'll just apply this scale as well okay, so then i'm just gonna edit mode of this shape and i will just select the top face i'm just gonna press the i for the insert okay and then i'm just gonna press the extrude inside something like that so now here you can see we have a that kind of shape also yeah so our uh, molding is almost done we just uh, left only the cylinder part so for creating the cylinder part what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add one cylinder and i'm just going to increase the side vertices as a 32 and i'm just gonna decrease the radius size as well i think that much radius is look fine to me okay and we'll just increase a little depth then I'm just going to my front view and I think top view and we'll just rotate it here you can see something like that first of all on a 90 degree and we'll just uh, move in our front view and I think we have to just uh, scale a little bit more and we have to just go to my top view and we have to just place this cylinder here to here and we have to just move it something like that I think 30 degrees look fine to me and I'm just gonna change the transformation orientation as a local global to local I think yeah that's look fine and we'll just rotate it something like that as well okay and now we'll just keep it here to here okay we'll just spare a little bit into this part yeah I think that's look fine and now we'll just do same thing which is we have done with the that uh, bullion part so I'm just going on my top view okay but before doing the same thing we'll just uh, move this origin point as a 3d cursor yeah something like that okay and after that make sure you just change the transformation orientation as a global so after that we'll just select the r cylinder then we'll just do the shift d then we'll press the r for the rotation and z for the z axis and i'm just going to keep it here and then we'll do shift r for the repeat command so here you can see it will look something like that okay so here you can see our modeling part is almost done okay so i think we have to just to little scale this part so for that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna my orientation local view and then i'm just gonna scale it something like that and we'll just do shift r selecting the all other object so it will repeat the scale command to all other cylinder as well something like that 
okay so after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna uh, add little light into our scene so i will just add one plane i'm just gonna scale this plane something like that okay and then i'm just gonna edit mode of this uh, plane then i'm just gonna select the one edge of this plane i'm going to extrude it something like that we'll just create one little platform for this hut yeah something like that and i will just do shade smooth i think that's look fine to me and then i'm just gonna my camera view and here you can see that is perfectly set into our camera and i have already added the one sdre for the lighting so i'm not gonna add the any lighting here okay just gonna switch my uh, render properties view and here i'm just gonna add the uh, color into our shapes so here you can see so that looks something like that okay okay so after that i will just take one render pressing the f12 so here you can see it will look something like that that's how we can create that kind of old hut in blender which is super easy and here i show some trick of the modeling i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any situation, please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys